Hey, what's good, y'all? This is Ryan Jackson from Ryan Jackson LLC. Hope y'all are doing great today. It's Friday. Thank God. Thank God it's Friday. We got through the week. Uh, the weekend is upon us. And I hope y'all had a blessed and wonderful day and a blessed and wonderful week as well. I'm going to get into the topic for this video. So as you all may have known or may not have known, Capitol Records thought it would be a great idea to back um this rapping robot artificial intelligent uh machine whatever the hell it was a rapping robot and the robot had what they thought a black rapper should it was very stereotypical very very stereotypical cultural appropriation times 20 on a massive scale. And the fact that Capitol Records was allowed to get away with this and they're not facing any legal action, it's just, it's just asinine to me. Because could you imagine if they had did this to the Hispanic community, if they would have had a robot with a sombrero on, you know, uh, speaking, you know, um, with a, a long mustache that toured around and, you know, a stereotypical um, Hispanic caricature, if you will. Could you imagine if Capitol Records would have done that? Could you imagine that? What would have happened? There would have been a, they, they would have been a, a far outcry. Everyone would have came out and rightfully so. Could you imagine if Capitol Records would have done this to the Asian community? They would have had like a um, an Asian Asian caricature with those um, I can't think of the hats what they're called, but I can see it in my mind the little round hats, and you know they say yes sir yeah yeah aha yeah yeah doing you know typical Asian culture with the you know painting them with like real slanted eyes. And big teeth. Could you imagine the outcry that would have that would have caused? Could you imagine if it was a Jewish character or a white or a white? You know, they would have done something to the um, yeah, to the white community, to the Jewish community. Made a caricature about that. They would have shut Capitol Records down. But but see, Capitol Records wouldn't have done that. Oh, excuse me. Capitol Records wouldn't have done that because Capitol Records are owned by Jews. So why would they make, you know, disparaging, um, you know, caricatures of, of their people or other people? But they get away with it with, with black people. With black people, they just think it's, you know, it's cute because that's what they think of us. That's what they that's how they that's what they feel about us. And we allowed them to get away with it. So we're at fault as well. They're at fault and we're at fault because we let these mofos get away with it. We let them get away with it. And that shouldn't be the case. But in any event, you know, um, so this rapping uh, robot, whatever the hell it was, you know, had the saggy jeans, had the yo, 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 you know, doing all this. And... What's very insidious is that this robot was dropping the word nigga in its songs. You heard me. This robot was dropping the word nigga in its songs. Could you imagine if this robot was saying kike or chink or Beaner, uh, disparag disparaging terms uh, that are used against the Hispanic, Asian, and Jewish communities. Could you imagine that? Again, I, I ask this question. Could you imagine if they used that terminology? It would have been hell to pay, and rightfully so. But again, we let them get away with this. We let them get away with this foolishness. Time and time again. 
We let him get away with it. So I saw an article where there was a public outcry and Capitol Records apologized and they pulled back, they uh, pulled back the backing of this uh, robot, whatever the hell, artificial intelligent machine, uh, rapping machine. They pulled it back. And so it's called, uh, got the name, FN Mika, FN Mika. I don't know what that's, that name is supposed to mean or how they came up with that name. I could care less. But they, they pulled back, they scaled back on it. They said, you know, because people uh, push back. Not enough. It shouldn't even, it shouldn't not even come to fruition in the first place. But there was some, you know, a pushback on it. And so Capitol Records, you know, said, okay, it's, you know, it's racial stereotypical and we're sorry. And they, and they backed off and they're no longer going to, going to um, back this project. And that's good. Well, that's good. And it shouldn't never came, like I said, it should have never came to fruition in the first damn place. But it is what it is. Moving along. Oh, before I, before I move along, hit that thumbs up button, smash that thumbs up button down, hit the subscribe button so you get notifications or when I do videos on here. Moving along, Rolling Stone, that sewer trash magazine. Yeah, Rolling Stone. They, um, it's a singer uh, out of uh, Great Britain named Harry Styles. I guess many of you may have heard of him. I never really, I heard a little bit about him, but you know, not didn't really make me, you know, want to find out enough about him because I could care less about him. But in any event, um, Rolling Stone called him the new king of pop. It's a white boy. He from England. They called him the new king of pop. Really? Really? Harry Styles is the new king of pop? So I heard a sample of his music, some of his songs. And as far as I'm concerned, in, in uh, my personal opinion, this kid can't sing. I mean, he don't sound good to me. I mean, what say y'all? Maybe he sound good to y'all, but to call to compare him to Michael Jackson, the late great Michael Jackson, is blasphemous. It's insidious. It's insulting, and it just goes to show you that we can have nothing to ourselves. Nothing is sacred amongst among us. Nothing is sacred in our culture. Not our music. Not not the clothes we wear our hair, um, our inventions, everything that we've done. We've done, we've contrib we've made great, 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 great contributions to mankind. And everything that we've done is not sacred. It goes beyond dancing and music. That's not that's that's not only black culture. Dancing and music is not what black culture is all about. It's the arts. It's the way we, we, uh, we raise our kids, our religion, religions, everything. Um, aviation, everything you can think of. I said the arts, clothes, fashion, all that architecture astronomy government the first governments were set up by black people look it up cosmetics everything that we that we hold sacred it's like nothing is sacred nothing is sacred these culture vultures are taking every damn thing how dare you compare Harry Styles to the late, great Michael Jackson? There's no comparison. This clown can't sing. He don't sound good. Mike is an icon, a legend. He's one of us. We hold him sacred. Yeah, he has some, 
He did some questionable things in life. We know the man wasn't perfect, but you cannot deny the fact that the man was a musical genius, the greatest entertainer of the 20th century. He was us. He was among us. He was one of us. Like I said, did he do questionable things, weird things in his life? Of course. The man wasn't perfect. But it seemed like they're disrespecting our, our, our black icons and heroes more so that they're when they're dead than they were when they were alive. Does it seem that way to y'all? It sure seemed that, boy to, seemed that way to me. So Rolling Stone come up with this with this garbage. If that ain't bad enough, I mentioned last week about hip hop, about what Fat Joe. Um, now, well, it started with Funkmaster Flex. That fool. Now, Buster Rhymes and Fat Joe, and now uh, Spike Lee, they're spreading this lie that pretty much that without the help of Jamaicans and Puerto Ricans, hip hop would have never been created. Buster Rhymes is spreading this lie. So is Fat Joe, but it started with Funk Breath, Funk Master Flex, that idiot. And now that Jimmy Cricket looking fool, Spike Lee is hopping on the bandwagon, spewing these lies. So much so that BET uh, did a YouTube uh, video um, giving uh, some kind of tribute to uh, Latino hip hop or their country, their some some craziness they did. See, this is how lies get spread. This is how this is how misinformation and lies get spread. When you get famous people, not all, but just a few. To spread lies, it's spread like wildfire, and you can't control it. It's like a California wildfire. Once you strike that match and light it and throw it on the ground, it spreads, destroying acres, and you can't stop it. You can only hope for the rain, and we need to rain the truth on this. We need to rain some truth out on these fools because Puerto Ricans and Jamaicans did not, I repeat, did not create hip hop. It did not help create hip hop. That was created by black American men, foundational black American youth in the South Bronx in 1973. Puerto Ricans and Jamaicans didn't have a damn thing to do with it. And so later, now, they have contributed. I will give them that. Yes, they have made contributions. Sure. I'll be a fool to deny that. And anyone would. But they did not help create it. They want to push this narrative that, you know, black people didn't have the wherewithal or the mindset or the, or the brains to create a, a brand that's, been, that's a multi-billion dollar industry worldwide. It pisses me off. It makes me so mad because this lie keeps spreading and you got black people fighting other black people. I don't mean fighting in the sense of fist fight, but just arguing with other black people on this lie, defending this lie. You got black people defending this lie. See, we, this is why I said we, have, we don't have any allies. I keep saying this, I keep saying it, I keep saying it. We don't have any allies. We don't have any, we don't have allies amongst ourselves. How the hell we expect to have allies with other people? We can't even align with, with each other. This is a flat out lie. Jamaicans and Puerto Ricans did not help create hip hop. Yes, they have contributed, but they did not help create it. And see, they want to promote this thing that, well, y'all, y'all needed Jamaicans and Puerto Ricans to help create hip hop, because without them, it would have never been created. It's a damn lie. Stop it. It's a, it is a damn lie. Stop with the lies.
Fat Joe, Culture Vulture, Buster Rhymes. You are you really ought to know better. You really ought to know better. Funk breath, funk master flex, funky flex. I used to have so much respect for you, man. Buster Rhymes, I'm starting to lose a little bit of respect for you. I'm not gonna stop listening to your music or Fat Joe, but as far as it, as far as y'all music go, you know, as far as anything else, y'all, I don't have nothing. Y'all can't say nothing to me. Y'all know what the hell y'all talking about. And y'all are and y'all are artists. Spike Lee, you really ought to know better. But I mean, okay, you love Puerto Rican women. You know, Rosie Perez, she was in, you know, your movie, uh, Do the Right Thing. Okay, I get it. John Leguizamo, I think he was in, in one of your movies, if I'm not mistaken. So you're trying to, you know, go along and get along. You really look stupid. But I, I mean, I, okay, I get it. Okay. Even though you know it's a lie, but and you're from Brooklyn. It started in the South Bronx. Yo ass from Brooklyn. But okay, whatever. Whatever. It's crazy. It, it, it's, it's just crazy. These culture vultures are trying to erase our music history right before our very eyes. If they're not trying to kill us, they're trying to steal from us. They're trying to erase our music history from us. History in general. We created hip hop. Yeah, and I know it's been people, you know, the last video I did, will say, well, you know, it's not just uh, MCing, it's DJing, it's the five elements of hip hop. It's DJing, MCing, uh, B-boy, B-girl, graffiti, the language, the culture. I get all that. Y'all not, not telling me nothing. I've been listening to hip hop for damn near 40 years. Y'all not telling me a damn thing. Actually, you should you're schooling yourself. You ain't schooling me. Y'all ain't schooling no one. Especially not me. Especially true hip hop heads. Y'all not schooling us. And this is the perfect shirt. Be careful with sympathizing with the colonizers. Be careful, y'all. This shirt goes to this video. It's synonymous with this video. Be careful when, when sympathizing with the colonizers. Because when you sympathize with the colonizers, that's when they come in and they steal. That's when they steal. They steal your neighborhoods. They steal your ideas. And they take credit for it. And you don't get nothing. You don't get mentioned. Be careful when sympathizing with these colonizers. Be careful, y'all. Be careful. Gentrification, culture vultures, they circling. They know hip hop is on his last breath and they just circling. They just circling like vultures, circling, trying to steal it, trying to steal our art, something that we created. DJing was created by us. MCing was created by us. B-boys created by us, B-girl, all that, black people, graffiti, us, the language, the clothes, us. Yes, Puerto Ricans and Jamaicans jumped on the, jumped on the train later, years later, and they have contributed, but they did not create it. That would be like me building a house. I mean, I built a house, you know, Built it, you know, rent it out, make money off the house, the property. Someone come along and say, hey, I want to um, plant a garden around it. Hey, hey, I want to um, put some um, some furniture on the, on the porch, some lawn, some lawn furniture on the porch. I want to put some um, some chairs out back. I want to put some, uh, you know, give you a couch, give you a TV. Can they say that they helped me build a house? I'm going to ask you that question. Can they say that they helped me build a house? 
No, they can't. Did they contribute? Yeah, they contribute some furniture, some electronics. No, they planted a garden here and there. Yeah, they contributed to the upkeep to help the house maintain itself. Yeah, they contributed. Contributed. Big difference. Creating and contributing are two different things. Come on, people, work with me. Creating and contributing are two different damn things. It's not the same. Get, th get that through your thick skulls, culture vultures. It's not the same thing. Look it up. Creating and contributing. Two different things. Get it through your thick skulls. Big difference. Hit the like and subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button so you get notifications when I'm doing videos on here. Come on, man. Let's keep it a buck. And hip hop was birthed from R&B, from James Brown. Curtis Mayfield. It was birthed from them. And the last time I checked, the late, great James Brown, the late, great Curtis Mayfield, were they Jamaican? Were they Puerto Rican? No, they weren't. They were black men, black American men, foundational black American men. Hip hop was birthed from them, among others. But it was not birthed from Jamaica, from, from Jamaica or Puerto Rico, or Jamaican Americans and Puerto Rican or Puerto Rican Americans. It was not, it was not, it was not, it was not. Stop telling that damn lie. Stop it. Stop it. I will call you out. I will I wish this video could go viral. I wish. Y'all who uh, share this video, please share it. Please share it. If you could, those who watch it, please share this video. Make it go viral. I want it to, to get to these idiots that spewing these lies. I will debate them tooth and nail anywhere. Name the place. I will tear you up. I'm not even an a, a artist. I'm just a kid from Detroit, from Northwest Detroit. Just a kid from Northwest Detroit. What, what do I know? I'm just a veteran who's getting disability. What do I know? You know, did close to 12 years in the Air Force. What the hell do I know? about hip hop. A kid from Northwest Detroit who grew up in a Pentecostal church, Church of God in Christ, Air Force 11 and a half year Air Force veteran, receiving disability. What do I know? I got a few grades here. Don't have any hair on my head. I'm middle age, you know, be 50 in a, in a, in a, in a few years. What the hell do I know about hip hop? I mean, I've only been listening to it for almost 40 years. I wasn't born in the South Bronx. I'm from the Midwest. And I know the and people who are from New York, who are from the Bronx, they spewing these lies. What, what, why, why, what purpose are you, what purpose do you have to do this? It makes no sense. I hope this video goes viral. Please share it. Please share it. Please share it on your social media accounts. Share it, share it, share it. I hope it reaches Fat Joe. Buster Rhymes, Jimmy Cricket, Spike Lee, 
um, Funk Breath, Funk Master Flex, or any other idiot that's spewing these nonsensical lies. I normally don't do with the name calling, but it just it just it pisses me off because this art form that we created that many of us love. People my age and older who love real hip hop, not this sewer trash that's out now. This sewer trash that's out now is not hip hop. It's hip trash. It's garbage. It's basura. Basura. I'm probably saying that word wrong. Please forgive me. It's basura. Basura. Trash. Garbage. Kaka. All of the above. Again, people my age and older, or maybe a little bit younger, who love real hip hop, understand my frustration because they they're i've heard them say the same thing they echo my my same sentiments they share my frustration they're frustrated they're angry because it's just bs man and if you feel the same way i do you watching this video share it on your social media accounts on twitter on facebook uh instagram TikTok, if you can, I don't know. I'm sure you can. I'm not sure how TikTok works. I think you can share it on Instagram. I'm not really all that, you know, well versed in Instagram either. I just know about Facebook and tech, Facebook and Twitter. The only two I really, I, I really deal with. But share it, share it, share it, share it. I hope this goes viral. I hope Fat Joe, Funk Master Flex. Buster Rhymes, uh, Nori, who ought to be ashamed of himself, and Spike Lee. I hope y'all see this video because I will debate y'all anywhere, any place, anytime. I will tear y'all up because y'all are telling lies, flat out lies. Name the place. I will debate y'all. Hit the like and subscribe button. Hit the like and subscribe button so you get notifications when I do videos on here. Black people, we hold, we uh, have to fought ourselves in some of this too because, again, we allow people to come in. Yeah, you contribute, but we allow, allow them to just take the wheel and just push us aside and take credit for it. Many of us, have only ourselves to blame for that. We have ourselves to blame for that because <laughs> whose fault is it? We share some fault in this too. Capitol Records, Rolling Stone, Fat Joe, Funk Master Flex, Buster Rhymes, Spike Lee, shame on y'all. Shame on y'all, shame on y'all. Shame on y'all. Y'all are pathetic. Y'all are pathetic. Capitol Records and Rolling Stone, y'all been y'all been pathetic. That trash label, record label, and that sewer garbage magazine, y'all been y'all been trash. So, you know, we don't we don't expect anything from y'all. That's what y'all do. Y'all are trashy. So that's that's what y'all known for. So y'all just trash being trashy. So that's nothing new with y'all. But these rappers, man, Fat Joe, Buster Rhymes, Funkmaster Flex, Spike Lee. What's it's no excuse. Y'all know better. Y'all know better. So do better. Stop spreading these lies. Be in white entertainment tele. I mean, what is it? White entertainment television, Jewish entertainment television, BT, whatever the hell they call themselves now. Because it's not black entertainment television. It's black entertaining trash 
That's what it is. So I guess I guess it is BT. Black entertaining trash. Yep. So yeah, it is. It is our BT. Y'all, y'all, y'all lost y'all way years ago. There's no hope for y'all. So I don't even expect nothing from y'all. So y'all can just go away, fly away. Like a buddy mob say, fly away. In any event, hope y'all have a blessed, wonderful day. I love y'all. Take care. Whatever you do this weekend, please be safe. Uh, we only have, what, three and a half more weeks of summer. So whatever you do, please be safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one each other. And just stay safe out here in these streets, y'all. Please be safe. I love y'all. God bless. And um, I'll talk to y'all soon. And um, like I always say, we don't have to agree. But let's agree to disagree without being disagreeable. Let's do that, y'all. Y'all take care. I love y'all. God bless. I'm out. Peace.